Hi, Kevin here. I wanted to thank you all for the really kind comments you left over on Instagram and on my website and on my Facebook page uh, concerning Tiger the Cat. Yeah, Tiger passed away on Friday and boy, Mr. Fox and I shed a lot of tears. Tiger was 18 years old and she'd been a member of our household for 17 years. So that's quite a history. Anyway, she essentially died of old age, okay? Um, <clears throat> and our hearts are broken nonetheless. So thank you so much for all the kind comments. Now I'm gonna go have a good cry and maybe I'll come back. Okay, see you later. Okay, I'm back and hopefully a little more composed. Um, we adopted Tiger in 2004 uh, and we adopted her from this really cool cat shelter in Hudson, New York. The shelter is located in a 19th century house. It's a Victorian house and it's filled with Victorian furniture. And what happened was yeah, we were led into the house, they brought us upstairs, they told us to be very careful when we opened the parlor door. So we opened the parlor door slowly, there was a table just to the right of the door, and immediately one cat it was on this table, she, she put her paws up on me, and I picked her up, and she got very comfortable in my arms. That was not Tiger. That was Camille, and we still have Camille, thank goodness. Um, and Camille stayed in my arms for about 45 minutes while we looked for a second cat, because there would be one cat for me and one cat for Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox liked Camille, but he said, she's too, she's too mellow. I want a cat that has some spunk. So the um, owner of the place, a lovely Eastern European woman named, appropriately enough, Katrina, told us about a cat named Diva. And why is she named Diva? Well, Katrina told us that every, Diva felt that the world revolved around her. You know, it was all about her. She said that Diva had knocked a window fan out of one of the windows and she led a parade of cats out the window, down a fire escape and out into the street and K Katrina and her staff had to run out and gather up all of these cats and bring them back indoors. Well, Mr. Fox liked that idea. So we were introduced to Diva and uh, we were doing the paperwork to adopt the two cats. Uh, Katrina had opened a file cabinet to get out the paperwork for us and we filled out all the paperwork and then suddenly she said, where's Diva? We looked all around the facility, could not find Diva. Turned out that when Katrina opened the file cabinet drawer, Diva had jumped into the drawer and Katrina had accidentally closed that drawer. Anyway, we brought the cats home and uh, Diva was so active and playful and although, you know, it's a female tabby, she didn't walk with the grace of, that Camille had. I mean, Camille would come down our sweeping staircase just very gracefully. Tiger just bounded down the staircase. So I renamed Diva Tiger. So she became Tiger the Cat. She's also a Tiger Tabby Cat. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so flash forward many, many, many years and I'm shooting cooking videos. And Tiger really liked to hang out in the kitchen. There's a dresser over here where we feed, we were feeding Tiger. We have to feed her on a dresser so that a Avery can't get to the food. So uh, Tiger 
was constantly hanging out in the kitchen. And of course, whenever I spoke with her, she would meow, give me more food, give me more food. And I always did give her more food. You know, she was older and I wanted her to be happy. Um, but then when I was filming cooking videos, of course, I'm talking to you, the audience, but Tiger can't see you. So Tiger assumed I was talking to Tiger. And that's why she meowed so many times during the cooking videos. And uh, I'm going to film a cooking video as soon as I finish this video. Uh, but I, I, I wanted to keep, yeah, I wanted to do two separate videos. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble staying organized in my thoughts. Uh, so I just wanted to tell you you know, about the loss of Tiger because I know that so many of you heard her during the cooking videos. And Tiger was like the Ed McMahon to my Johnny Carson. And I'm going to miss her terribly. And every time I go to do a cooking video, and I'm going to cry now, um, I'm going to think about her meowing and how much fun she was to interact with during the videos. So that's all. Thank you for watching. I'll do the cooking video later. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, I'm back, and I promise I'm going to hold it together this time. I wrote a blog post about Tiger and included several pictures of her. Uh, and if you'd like to read that post, it is over on my website. I will post a link to the website in the description box below. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.